For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the moment of force F creates about the X, Y and Z axis. They want you to use the problem using both scalar and vector analysis. This is a good opportunity to understand scalar and vector analysis because we're basically going to do six exercises, three with scalar and three with three with a vector analysis. So you're, you're going to be able to compare them. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to find the Cartesian vector form of this 500 Newton force. The Cartesian vector form is given by it has an X component, a Y component and a C component. So the X component is given by, actually, let's start with the C component. It's the easiest. C component is the component I just drew. It's given by 500 times 3 over 5, which is 300. Now, what you need to do is you need to find this projection that F has to this plane, which is parallel to the X and Y. So let's call it F, X, Y. This projection is given by 500 times 4 over 5, which comes out to be 400. Now that we have this projection, we can find the y component and the x component. The x component is negative because it's pointing towards the negative x direction. And it's given by the projection, which is calculated, times 3 over 5. So you get your 400 times 3 over 5. In negative comes out to be negative 240 and then the y is positive and it's given by the projection times 4 over 5 and it comes out to be positive 320 so the Cartesian vector form of the force comes out to be negative 240 in the i plus 320 in the j plus 300 in the k now we need to find the vector that gives us where the force is applied, which is given by a vector OA, which is equal to vector A because O is at the origin. And it's given by negative 2 in the I plus 2 in the J plus 3 in the K. So now that we have our vectors and our position vector, we're going to do the scalar analysis. Scalar analysis. The scalar analysis we're going to start with the x-axis. So the moment about the x, remember you got the x, the y and the z. Since we're working with the x we need the y times fc and the c times fy. It's just the other two. This is a c. It's just the other two in vertices. y times fc, c times fy. Now, if you want to know which one's positive, which one's negative, you use your right hand rule. You aim your fingers towards the Y and you close them towards your C and you're going to see that your thumb is aiming in the positive X direction. Now, same thing with the C and the Y. You aim your fingers towards the C, you close them towards the Y and you're going to get your thumb pointing on the negative X direction. You substitute the numbers to 300 minus 3, 320 is equal to negative 360 newton meters. Y axis now. I'm going to explain everything. This is going to be tedious, but this is good. So it really drills into your head. So you got the Y, so you need the other two. X, F, C, and C, F, X. So, right hand rule. Fingers same towards X, close towards C, your thumb is aiming on the negative. Fingers aim towards C, close towards X, fingers are aiming the positive. Replace the numbers, negative, negative 2, times 320, minus 2, times negative 240, comes out to be negative 160 newton meters. 
and last but not least the c-axis m in the c you got the c so you need the x and the y x f y y f x right hand rule finger same towards x close towards y and you get the c axis which is positive one's positive and one's negative so once you f once you find one you can find that the other one's pretty much going to be backwards if you want to save some time now you replace the numbers negative 2 320 negative 2 negative 240 i'm messing up numbers here right sorry this is supposed to be a 3 i copied the one on my notes out of this one i apologize and this comes out to be minus 160 and again i made this mistake this is 120 again i apologize uh, newton meters because the force is in newtons and the distances are in meters so this is it for your scalar analysis this is gonna bother me isn't it i'm gonna do the video again now we're gonna do the y-axis tedious but it's good for you to understand m y is given by remember the other two we're using y so now it's going to be x and c c and x we use our right hand rule aim towards the x close towards the c and you get that this is negative now aim your fingers towards the c close towards the x and you're gonna get your thumb aiming at the positive replace the numbers negative negative 2 times 300 plus 3 times negative 240 comes out to be negative 120 newton meters last but not least c axis mc so you use the other two letters x and y y and x right hand rule x and the y aim aim your fingers towards the x close towards the y you get your thumb pointed at the positive c axis and aim your fingers towards the y close towards the x and you get your thumb aiming at the negative c axis replace the numbers negative 2 320 and negative 2 negative 240 and this negative 160 newton meters which is correct so this is it for the scalar analysis the units are in newton meters because the force is in newtons distances are in meters just saying now let me add a new layer now we're gonna do the vector analysis which requires us to do a bunch of cross products so the moment about the x is given by a univector in the x a cross f so first row univector on the x 1 0 0 a is given a negative 2 2 positive 3 the force is given at negative 240 320 300 we draw first and second negative 2 2 negative 240 320 positive diagonals positive 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 1 times 2 times 300 is 600 0 has a 0 negative diagonals negative 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 240 times 2 times 0 is minus 0 minus 320 times 3 times 1 comes out to be negative 360 i'm sorry negative 960 and last one has a 0 minus 0 
you add this up and you get that negative 360 newton meters just like we did for the scalar analysis sum of the moments in the y u of y a cross f draw your matrix 0 1 0 negative 2 2 3 negative 2 40 3 20 300 you redraw your first and your second put 40 320 i'm gonna move a bit quicker all right positive diagonals first one has a zero third one has a zero the middle one doesn't have a zero and it comes out to be minus 720 negative diagonals zero second one doesn't have a zero and it's positive 600 is it positive 600 negative oh yeah i redraw this one this is zero this is one okay so it's positive 600 because negative times 300 times negative 2 times 1 is positive 600 and it comes out to be negative 120 newton meters and let me move down so I have more space. Some of the moments in the C is given by the univector C times A cross F. Redraw your matrix 0, 1, 0, negative 2, 2, 3, minus 2, 40. Sorry, this is 0 and this is 1 because the univector in the C has a 1 in the K. This is negative 2, 40, 3, 20, and 300. 0, 0, negative 2, 2, negative 2, 40, 3, 20. Positive, positive, positive. Positive diagonals, first one 0, second one 0, last one is negative 2 times 3, 20, which is minus 640. Negative diagonals, first one is negative, negative 2, 40 times 2 times 1 is positive 480 and minus zero minus zero which comes out to be minus 160 newton meters just like in our scalar analysis so let me just this is zero this is one and this is zero this is one sorry about the mistakes i do them to make sure you're paying attention so yeah, you can see that the scalar analysis uh, seems easier, but the vector analysis, in my opinion, is less prone to errors, although it seems that I committed more errors in the vector analysis. But if you're really taking your time, I would do the vector analysis because it works on all kinds of cases. And to me, it's more intuitive. So final answers. They're all negative. If they're asking you for magnitudes, just give them positive if they're asking you for magnitudes for whatever reason usually for this book negative means uh, counterclockwise negative means clockwise and positive means counterclockwise but they don't usually ask you for this kind of problems uh, which way this is turning and you can kind of see because of where the force is going so if you would draw the whole line of action of the force it will be this way so you were i was to ask you which way would it turn the y i will tell you clockwise same thing with the x which way would it turn it you would turn it clockwise and the c you would turn it clockwise that's why all the answers are negative please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you